This is Kids Invent Stuff. I'm sorry, you want to be in the shot. Hello. <laughs> Hello, this is Kids Invent Stuff, and usually we're bringing to life kids' invention ideas. Stuff like this. But today, we are in the workshop for an extra special video. So at the beginning of the first lockdown here in the UK, we took on this new workshop and we had great plans for making it an amazing space to work in, but we never got around to it because of COVID. But now we have the time, we have the ideas, and we're going to make it happen. And we're going to take you guys on the journey to giving the workshop a makeover to make it amazing. Go! Go! Kids invent stuff. Goodbye, shelves. Bye-bye! So when we took on this workshop, there was this funny racking thing up here that we just kind of dumped stuff in. And now the plan is to get rid of this and to put some fancy racking up the wall instead. What even is all this? Goodbye! Very solid. Have we got it level? Oh no. I mean the whole workshop is not that. <gasps> oh, look at that. Look at that. Nothing straight except for the racking. Woohoo! So before we go any further, we want to thank the awesome folks at RS Components, RS Grassroots, RS Pro and Design Spark for helping make all of this happen. They've sent us some awesome tools and just generally been amazing. If you want to see what we were sent, we did a full unboxing over on our Instagram. We're live on Instagram! Yay! So we've got these secondhand filing cabinets because they're perfect for storing bits of components and things we'll need around the workshop. However, they look a little drab and boring, so we're gonna spray them. Look how good they look painted! So where Sean is, with you. Hello. <laughs> That's the clean side of our workshop. And this is the dirty side. And I don't just mean with mess. This is where we weld and we grind and we make dust. And so to separate the two sides, we're going to put up a welding curtain. So that'll mean that if someone's in this side and someone's welding, then they're not going to get red eye from the weld. And also it should keep all the dust and all the dirty things in this side of the workshop. So one of the goodies that RS have sent us that I'm most excited about is this monster. It's a giant metal chop saw for cutting through steel. And it's huge. It's like a giant angle grinder. And this is going to make welding and fabricating stuff so much easier. So we build a different crazy kids invention every single month, so we always need lots of different random components. So we've organised all our different random stuff into boxes so we can find it when we're making some things. And we fixed the hole in the toilet wall, so now no one can see you poop. Hanging the Hacksmith sign. Now this is our Kids Invent Stuff sign made by the Hacksmith. This year we're making something for Kids Invent Stuff. And this was our Secret Santa present. If you've not checked out that playlist, check it out. There are some incredible makers making some awesome presents. And we had to hang this in the clean side of our workshop. So our friend Faye over at Geeky Faye Art 3D printed a Sharpie holder for her workshop and I saw it and I knew we needed one so we've 3D printed one and if you want to do one yourself we'll leave the file in the description of this video. So we've bought this unit to use to store all of our electronics components and we've got these coloured boxes to keep the stuff in but they don't fit. They're the wrong size. Somehow we ordered the wrong size so you know we might upgrade them, replace them, get some other ones but you know we also might not. And of course, we had to keep our replica Aladdin's carpet for our magic carpet invention. Don't mind me, I'm just floating along on my magic Aladdin's carpet. <laughs> A fancy kitchen space. So we've ripped out our old workbenches and we've got some lovely shiny new ones. And the design of these workbenches is exactly the same as the ones that Ruth has built in her new workshop. One of the things about our channel that most people don't really know is that we actually live about 300 miles apart and we come together to build kids' inventions. So this is our kids' invent stuff workshop, but Ruth has recently built herself her own brand new shiny workshop completely from scratch 
So we thought we would build the workbenches to be the same as roofs. And on this side, we have been inspired by Mr. Furs, Colin Furs himself, who put steel on the top of his workbenches so we can put things straight onto it and then clip the earth from the welder underneath it so you can put things on the top and weld straight on the workbench. So having boxes with lids is essential on this side of the workshop as we create loads of dust. So we've custom built the workbench so we can fit two of these storage boxes stacked on top of each other underneath it. So one of the things we've been on the lookout for our workshop is a pillar drill and we finally found one. They don't make them like they used to. We've been on the search for an old school hardcore pillar drill and we think we found the perfect one. I love it so much. I love a tool board. So some of the new things we've got in the workshop are... A cordless multi-tool. A solder fume extractor. A Henry Hoover. And a puppy. A puppy? Yes, this is Luna. She is our new, well, my new dog, but our new workshop dog, who will probably be appearing in some of our videos, and we might even build some inventions for her. It's finished. We've got the clean space where we keep our goodies like our Ultimaker 3D printer where we can do our printing and then we've got our lovely extra workbench here which is our clean workbench for doing soldering and electronics-y stuff where we've got all of our solder station and power supply and things and we've got a lovely new kitchen area where we can make our tea and have our snacks. A massive thank you to RS Components, RS Grassroots, RS Pro and Design Spark, Powering Tech, Empowering Youth for supporting this upgrade of our workshop. Thank you guys, we've absolutely loved getting all of the new tools, all of the new stuff in here and we are super excited to be building another kids invention very soon because that's what we do on this channel. We don't normally make workshops, we make kids inventions. So if you know of any kids whose invention should be brought to life then send them to our website which will appear on the screen below and don't forget to like this video and subscribe. Bye! Bye. Don't forget to like and subscribe.